my sunflower teacher. A few months ago, in some new moon or full moon ceremony, I planted the only flower seed I had. It was a sunflower seed that someone gave me last year. I planted it in one of those tiny little pots and be darned if it didn't germinate in the house. I watched it grow to five feet tall and reach for the sun through the window beside my office desk. And then it bloomed. It barely had any leaves by this time, but it produced a flower. What beauty, faith, and optimism. As spring arrived, I put it outside in the daytime. I would even ask it if it wanted to go out. I made friends with it, and now it is out on my newly tilled garden, all alone, propped up by a bamboo stick. It had a few leaves left at the top, and sometimes I felt like its arms were reaching out to me as they blew in the wind. The flower followed the sun and even looked straight up as if for nourishment and inspiration. So there was this long, fragile stalk with a beautiful sunny flower still trusting in the process in the sun. I planted several seeds around my garden hoping that this brave flower in its non-optimal soil would have some friends. I told it I was planting companions for it. I hope they take root. But my friend is starting to go to seed. It may be on its way out. All I can do is let nature take its course in its dying glory. I can thank sunflowers in general for all they provide food, medicine, and joy. They give us ingredients to heal our heart, lungs, and immune system. In poultices, they heal swellings, sores, and snake and spider bites. Sunflowers remove toxins and radiation from the soil. They were planted at Chernobyl and Fukushima to, remo to remove certain radioactive elements. Spiritually, Sunflowers symbolize self-respect, authority, and embracing your own uniqueness. They also symbolize God, the sun, something greater than us. Free spirits, they radiate joy, peace, and honesty. They turn to the light. Maybe that is why I love them so much. We can use this healing, this resilience, and this strength to stand strong in our dying culture when we don't know what is next. We can keep our eyes to the sun, to spirit, and envision something new and joyful, like the yellow of the sun or the flower. I see a future culture of simplicity, compassion, and connection. Technology will be used for the good of humans, not to make us into machines and separate, and separate us from our humanity and our soul. I see small communities working with other small communities, deciding their own future rather than being dictated to from a faraway authority. I see us living in harmony with nature as we connect on a more visceral level, like the former tribal cultures did. They knew so much from experience and intuition they watched everything and embodied it all. In these former tribal days, there were thriving communities who ruled with consensus, traded with others, and had their own natural healthcare systems. Some cultures lived to a ripe old age, even with the dangers of life, the cycles of drought and bounty, and the lack of control over nature. Of course, there was conflict and war, it seems there always is with humans, but living is risky. No authority can keep us safe. And even if they tell us that, it is through their own narrowly focused beliefs, judgments, and desire for power over others. Let's stand like sunflowers, stand together in the sun, care for each other and heal the planet in natural flowing, holistic ways. Remember your true nature, authentic, strong, and visionary.